So this is Scott, the second to no one canine life coaching. I'm going to teach Sunny how to do leave it. This is part one. Treats in both hands for each dried beef liver crumbled up. Put my legs as far apart as I can. My elbows will go on them. I do not move. Okay, now I won't move. Do not say anything. Good, leave it. Take it. Don't say anything until they actually move away. Two steps. And you'll see her decisions. When she leaves that one alone, comes over here, I will tell her, good, leave it. Good, leave it. Good, leave it. Good, leave it. You might have to go wider because how big your dog is. Do you want him to stand and move? Good, leave it. Get this one ready. The head movement is not enough. I dropped some, no big deal. You want to do it? Good, leave it, take it. This is a thinking man's game, thinking dog's game. Have the other one ready. I don't want to tell them what it is, I'm showing them. Good, leave it, take it. You don't have to say take it. Good, leave it, take it. Good, leave it, take it. When they're doing this consistently, we'll go to the set, we'll add the cue, leave it. Good, leave it. That was a premature one, that's okay. Are you nervous? Or you can't figure this out? Good, leave it, take it. Dogs are used to having stuff handed to them for a sit, a stay, and move away from stuff, then we go give them a treat. Good, leave it, take it. Good, leave it, take it. My point is I want them to walk away, and this is how I show them. Good, leave it, take it. We'll do it a couple more times, and I'll show you how we implement the word leave it to it. Good, leave it, take it. She might be ready, but I'm not. Good, leave it, take it. Leave it. Good, leave it, take it. Notice I wait till she takes a couple steps. Leave it. No. Nope. We're not ready, it's okay. Good, leave it, take it. Good, leave it. Two steps away, that's all it takes. I don't care which direction. She moved away from it. Good, leave it. Yes, I played with the bulldog this morning. <laughs> Silly girl. Wanna try it again? Good, leave it, take it. Good, leave it, take it. Ready? Leave it. Good, leave it, take it. Sitting's not enough. They must move away from it. Leave it. Good, leave it, take it. Now I can implement the word leave it as a cue. Leave it. Good, leave it, take it. Leave, good, leave it, take it. Leave it. Two steps, that's not enough. Good, leave it, take it. Leave it. Good, leave it, take it. Leave it. She has a harder time with that hand, that's okay. Leave it. Leave it, take it. Leave it. Good, leave it, take it. Ready? Sunny, do it again. Leave it. Good, leave it, take it.
Leave it. Good, leave it. Take it. Leave it. Good, leave it. Take it. And then when we're done with this, we say, all right, all done. That's part one. Teaching her how to move away. And all the treats come to one side. Thank you, Sunny. So when you want to do this, it's to teach the dog one side to the other. Not just sitting and looking at you. That's great. But for now, when it goes for the walks and everything else, if I drop stuff on the ground in the kitchen, I say leave it. The dogs move away from it. Being I deal with classic cars, I've got older vehicles. My biggest one when I learned this to improve for leave it, to not just sit there, thank you, is they have to move away from it. Because I deal with antifreeze, leaking oil, things just rolling towards the dog. If they just stop and sit, if I got antifreeze on it, I'm working underneath my car or something, I have to clean up, get a rag, get a towel, and then clean up for the dog. I don't want to do that. I want my dogs to move away. That way they're not getting in trouble. That way they're not going to get in trouble by me, me freaking out, oh, move, 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 move. but also they move away. I want to freak out. I can go get a towel and clean it up. <clears throat> they're safer. This also helps them think because when I go to drop stuff, I'm not in a rush to go pick it up like dogs in daycare where they poo on the ground. I can say, leave it, go get my paper towels, go get my enzyme, go get whatever cleaning solution I have to get and go clean it up. I'm cooking in here. I'll be able to drop stuff and say, leave it, go wash my hands, go get the stuff I need to pick it up. And the dog's not in any danger. I'm not freaking out. I'm not getting the dog in trouble. So that's part one. Part two is coming up in a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free. Tag me, subscribe, um, share, comment. www.k9lifecoach.com. Letter K, number nine, lifecoach.com. YouTube is D-O-G-G-I-E 650. Doggy 650. With that, have a wonderful day.